Hey, what's up everyone? Tase Bola here. This is the third game that we have for today, April 20, 2024, NBA Game Day. This is the, an Eastern Conference uh, playoff, uh, playoff matchup between the number two, the New York Knicks, going up against the number seven, Philadelphia 76ers. And again, this one will happen at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 6 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. By the way, uh, as we all know, we actually provide free picks right here in our YouTube channel. But for those who are interested with our premium picks with MLB, you guys can actually reach us through Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, or even Messenger account. Just take a look at the descriptions of our videos and you would see the details right there. Alright, so the spread that is actually given is minus 3 and that's given towards the New York Knicks. The New York Knicks, they will actually uh, enjoy the home court advantage on this particular game. Not only that... Um, uh, the New York Knicks, well, actually both the Knicks and 76ers have been on a roll approaching this game. You know, they have been winning. The New York Knicks uh, ended ended the regular season with a five-game winning streak. Philadelphia had a, like, I don't know, like an eight-game winning streak, if I'm not mistaken. And not only that, they had to go through the play-in tournament, and Philadelphia also won. So, I gotta say that uh, if we would be talking about momentum, I gotta say that Philadelphia 76ers would have a slight edge. Both have been winning, but Philadelphia 76ers, their streak is a bit longer than what the New York had towards the end of this series. Now, uh, if we take a look at the uh, uh, health and availability, um, this one's gonna hurt both teams. If we take a look at uh, the New York Knicks, Charlie Brown, uh, Dwayne Washington Jr. are both out, and as we all know, it has been it, it has been um, uh, formal it has been announced and it has been formalized that Julius Randle is out for the rest of the season. Now, so three players are out for the New York Knicks. Well, for Philadelphia 76ers, Robert Covington and DeAnthony Melton are both out for this game, and we have Joel Embiid listed as game time decision or listed as questionable for this particular matchup. So, uh, I gotta say that. Um, it's going to be the New York Knicks who would have the advantage on this in terms of health and availability. Why? Because the New York Knicks, they have been successful even without Julius Randle. They have learned how to adjust. They have learned how to, uh, you know, how to lean on uh, Brunson. And Brunson is, was able to figure out how to make use of his teammates and how to make his teams better. So, um, And for Philadelphia 76ers, in any case, Joel Embiid would not be able to play on this game. On this game, number one, to rest his knees. It's going to be a totally different story, all right? So, my pick, uh, I mean, I'm picking the New York Knicks uh, who should have the advantage in terms of uh, health and availability. All right, so in terms of fatigue, uh, both teams are going to be coming off rest, but uh, Philadelphia, uh, I got to say that the New York Knicks would, should be fresher. They had longer rest because, again, uh, Philadelphia 76ers, they had to go through that number seven versus number eight battle against the, you know, against Miami Heat, and it's not like it was easy, you know. It was a stressful game um, all along. Uh, Miami Heat had control of the game. It was just towards the end of the game when Joel Embiid stepped up and when, uh, and when they were able to to uh, grab the win via that one-point uh, victory over Miami. So again, I gotta say that the New York Knicks should be the fresher team. Now in this game number one, I'm picking the New York Knicks on here. The Madison Square Garden, uh, they they should you know they, they are excited as shit for sure. I am excited too. I am a, a huge New York Knicks fan, and I gotta say that the New York Knicks, uh, you know, will be pumped up approaching this game. Um, the number two reason that that well, the number one that's crowd they would be you know they would be getting the, the, the support of the home crowd. Number two would be health. Um, MB, yes, he might be able to play. We ain't sure. But we have to admit, you gotta admit. I don't, I don't know if you guys were able to watch that Miami versus Philadelphia game, but Joel Embiid wasn't moving the way, you know, the way he does, the way he normally does. You know, the explosion ain't there, um, uh, and he actually opted, he actually often to just opted to take those long shots, you know. And it's not like he can't make them. He actually made very crucial three-point shots. But if you are the opponent of Joel Embiid. You would, you know, you would rather you know, have him take those three-point shots, 
you know, instead of instead of him going to the pose or attacking it towards the basket, right? So again, that's another thing that I'm actually uh, that I'm actually picking on. Joel Embiid ain't that 100% healthy. And the New York Knicks, they have a lot of bigs. They have Hartenstein, and Hartenstein has just improved tremendously on this particular season. They have Mitchell Robinson back, and not only that, if needed be, they have this young body uh, off the bench, and uh, uh, we all uh, we all know that, right? The slam the slam the slam dunk um, competitor. But again, the New York Knicks. They have enough bigs and they have enough body to put on Embiid um, if ever Embiid would be playing on this game number one. I'm picking the New York Knicks in here. I, I feel like uh, Brunson would actually uh, would actually have this one on a roll. Brunson would actually win the, the matchup against uh, against Maxi on this game number one. Maxi for sure would have you know would have a good game, but I'm not really worried about it because uh, the New York Knicks have different defenders you know to go against Maxi to be able to minimize what he can do. Again, the New York Knicks should win this one. They have the back. They, they have the support of the crowd. They are the healthier team. They are the fresher team. And the Philadelphia 76ers ain't even ain't even sure whether they would have their best man in the in the court, and that'll be Joel Embiid. My pick on this one would be the New York Knicks minus three. Again, that's the Knicks minus three. Peace out, Pasay love, and God bless.